throughout time, people across the world told each other tales of how they came to be. Of heroes and monsters, romance and tragedy, death and rebirth. Mythology helped shape the ancient world explaining the unexplainable. This is Mythology Unleashed. Imagine yourself deep in a dark forest, where the trees themselves seem to almost close in all around you. Venturing further, you see a peculiar cottage in the middle of this foreboding place, encircled by a picket fence whose posts are topped with human skulls. Most peculiar of all, though, the hut is perched atop chicken legs. Those who discover such a hut would do well to turn back and run for their lives, for this is the home of Baba Yaga. A swamp witch of Slavic mythology, Baba Yaga is depicted as a grotesque, emaciated old woman, with long flowing white hair, a beak of a nose, teeth like iron, and claw-like fingernails. In addition to her frightening appearance, Baba Yaga is a powerful sorceress with command over the winds, animals, and the ability to hypnotize and disorient the unwary, cursing them with madness and disease. She travels the Russian countryside in a large mortar, paddled by a massive pestle with a broom of silver birch that brushes away her flight path. Ambiguous as she is hideous, Baba Yaga can be both a maternal Mother Nature-like figure and an evil villain who enjoys torturing and eating those who cross her path. She has a particular fondness for devouring children lost in the wilderness. But it is important to note, Baba Yaga can be particularly cruel and savage, but she is not entirely monstrous and will adhere to her own warped morals. For example, she never attacks anyone unprovoked. Her intended prey always comes to her, whether knocking on the door of her hut or just unlucky enough to step into her path. She will almost instantly consume the cowardly and the simple-minded, but will entertain those she deems as honest, brave, and pure of heart. The character of Baba Yaga is not so black and white as other mythical figures, with stories of her acting as a benefactor and a villain, either helping the protagonists or hindering them. She is often reluctant to answer questions or give counsel, as she ages one year each time she does so. So those who seek the hag's wisdom, truth, and knowledge must first complete several tasks often impossible to do without magic. Only upon the completion of these tasks will she provide assistance. If the tasks are not fulfilled and the Seekers have not found a way to escape, she will slaughter them and cook them for her dinner. Nevertheless, whatever promises she makes to the hero after the completion of her tasks, she keeps though she may attempt to double-cross her guests, planning to attack them as soon as the reward is given. In the story of Vasilisa the Beautiful, the heroine ventures out of her home at the demand of her wicked stepmother and stepsisters to find more light, and subsequently encounters Baba Yaga. The old hag presents numerous chores for Vasilisa in exchange for a fire to take back to her household. These tasks, however, were impossible for any normal human being to accomplish. For instance, her first task was to sort through a huge sack of millet seed, seed by seed, and to remove all the black bits in the course of one night. With the aid of a magical doll, Vasilisa completes all the tasks and is given a fire in a skull lantern, which subsequently incinerates her horrible stepfamily upon her return home. Vasilisa's story ends on a happy note 
with her wedding the Tsar of Russia, but it is Baba Yaga's role in her tale that is most intriguing. For in some variations of the story, Baba Yaga does not reward her at all, but instead plots to kill Vasilisa the following morning. Vasilisa then makes her escape and takes the skull for herself. In Maria Morevna, the hero Ivan Sarovich must rescue his beloved wife Maria from the clutches of the evil sorcerer Kashe the Deathless. But in order to do so, he must acquire a horse fast enough to overcome Kashe, a horse owned by Baba Yaga. Once again, Baba Yaga tasks the protagonist with a nigh undoable chore to watch over her personal herd of horses, all of whom she coerced into fleeing from the lad. He manages to accomplish his labor with the help of animals he had previously aided. As with Vasilisa, Baba Yaga plans on slaughtering Ivan so she would not have to give him the fastest horse. Through cleverness, Ivan escapes on the horse in question and goes on to vanquish Kashe the Deathless. In The Maiden Tsar, a different Ivan seeks the aid of Baba Yaga, though in this story there is not one, but three Baba Yagas, sisters living within identical chicken-legged huts. Ivan asks the first Baba Yaga if she knows the location of the thrice tenth kingdom, to which she does not, but perhaps her middle sister would know. Ivan then asks the second Baba Yaga if she knows of the kingdom's location. She declines and tells him to ask her younger sister, but warns him that she may attempt to eat him. She then told him that if her sister does try to eat him, to ask her for three magical horns and permission to blow them. The first is to be blown softly, the second louder, and the third even louder. When Ivan found the third Baba Yaga, she did indeed attempt to kill and eat the boy. But following the second Baba Yaga's instructions, he asked her for three magical horns and blowed them in the instructed order. All at once, the hut is swarmed by endless flocks of birds, one of which is the mystical firebird who saves Ivan from the hag's ravenous appetite. In this story, we see all three sides to Baba Yaga's character one who is helpful, one who is dangerous, and one who is neither. Baba Yaga is a mythical figure unlike any other. Her origins are shrouded in mystery, with no one knowing where she came from, how old is she, what she is capable of, or just what her intentions are. She adds a level of mystery and uncertainty to each of the tales she takes part in as the reader is uncertain until her final action, whether her intentions be villainous or redemptive. She can be a kind elderly woman who would help those in need. She could be a cannibalistic monster hell-bent on slaughtering the unwary and kidnapping children for her next meal. Or she can act as a self-serving crone only driven by her own self-interest. Whatever it may be, Baba Yaga invokes awe and fear in all who hear her stories, reminding us all to beware running into the forest after dark.